When building a model in MySQL Workbench, it is commonplace to create many-to-many -many relationships. Within Workbench, first click the Many-to-Many -many tool, then click both tables that will be used in the relationship. Once done, the relationship line will appear linking the tables to a join, linking, or intersecting table that is situated between the two existing tables. You will note that the relationship lines will show the one symbol on the outside tables while showing the crow's foot or many symbol for the join table. You will also see these relationships and the resulting join table will look different from a normal one-to-many relationship. The differences are first, the relationship lines are solid, not dashed, and second, the fields in the join table will have a red key icon, not the red diamond icon typical to a foreign key field. To better understand the meaning, double click on the new join table. The definition dialog box will appear at the bottom of the workbench window. A close look at the two fields will show that both are designated as primary keys. This means that we now have a composite key. Remember that a composite key takes into account the joint value from both fields to form a unique key. When the actual schema has been created and data is being entered, if the value from the member primary key is 43 and the value of the calling primary key is 12, the joint composite key would be considered to be 4312. There could not be another combination possessing this value in this table. However, the member could have a second calling, let's just say 25, so that combination could be stored as 43 and 25 respectively in the two fields. Close the inspection panel. Right click on the relationship line itself and select Edit Relationship. Once the dialog box opens, click the Foreign Keys tab at the bottom of the screen. At the bottom of the center column, you'll find an Identifying Relationship checkbox, which is checked. If you turn off the checkbox and slide the panel down so that you can see the EER diagram, you will find that the line itself is now dashed, and the key icon for that relationship has been replaced by a diamond. Thus, the field in the join table is now considered a foreign key but no longer is part of the primary key. By the way, this mixed key, one showing the key symbol and the second showing the diamond symbol, in the join table should not be kept. Make both identifying relationships or neither identifying relationships. In any case, make sure the combination of values used in the join table are unique and do not violate referential integrity by ensuring that the value or values placed in the join table already exist in the outer tables.